Hello friends, let's keep learning and exploring Ansible with Dev Linux. With whom? With Dev <laughs> Linux. Okay, so today we are going to learn uh, explore variables. So there are variables which are inbuilt and uh, other variables which we can build, we can specify user-defined variables or custom variables we can say now let's create a sample playbook so in this playbook we are going to use some inbuilt variables if you recall uh, I have already explained you how to use the setup module as well as how to use the Ansible facts So we are going to use them playing with Ansible variables, both inbuilt and custom or user defined. Okay, custom. So let's instead of using the word custom, I prefer this user defined variables. UDF, UDV, UDF is user defined functions, UDV user defined variables. Now, hosts, we, I have these two hosts up and running so we can use them. Gather facts, even if we set it to, we don't specify it, by default it is yes, let's use it. Now, task, a list of actions. So first item in the list is show uh, system information. Okay, an example task. As you know, we can use the debug module and we can specify a message. So let's say a message for example uh, OS info what OS info we want to fetch so Ansible prefix we can use system for example this item we can use facts we can call them okay now another task we create a blank line just for readability purpose show host name so host name we can use with the Ansible itself another uh, show host name as found in Ansible facts. Now, another way is to use the prefix inventory. Show host name as found in the inventory file so we are going to use the prefix here inventory the difference is item state we have defined in our inventory file we can we can uh, access those items we can refer to those values using the prefix inventory oh, and uh, anything else Okay, let's create one file and give it name where dot yml and playbook 
dash dash syntax check and the playbook name looks okay so we can execute it now our play name is there okay let's go up here gathering facts the default action show system information so we used ansible underscore system the ansible prefix to refer to the ansible facts so system is linux both the systems are running a linux os now host name as found in the ansible facts so web docker very nice and host name is found in the inventory so in, in the inventory i have used the ip addresses so we see ip here i think for both the hosts of course uh, variations are present there for example um, you can use short host name or FQDN something like that with the inventory keyword also we can use short but I don't have uh, I have only IPs so it doesn't make any sense now um, what I mean is we can use the full name FQDN as well as the short name and how we do that I can tell you one simple thing here we go to this Google thing uh, what is that I never search for those things okay trending searches very nice Delhi Pragati Medan tunnel it's a trending thing Ansible Enter questions <laughs> and civil facts host name FQTN. Let's go to the standard documentation, and here you see uh, this is my go to place actually docs.ansible.com. So lots of examples are there, there and uh, uh, we can find several variables and their you know references help on them so ansible all ipv4 address there are many items you can access directly ansible date and time let me use fqtn ansible underscore fqdn hostname we just used it okay so fqdn is your fully qualified domain name we can use the word short with inventory also inventory hostname underscore short so refer to this document actually because we cannot cover each and every item mentioned here and there are many you will find lots of examples in here now what we are going to do is we will use our own variables now Where's a list of variables I'm going to use some items here so let's say greeting and a value okay another variable let's say 
if we have any problem so error message we want to print okay to specify the custom variable and variable name let's say who am I okay so one variable we are specifying in our play another variable we are not specifying it here we are, but we are going to use it and the name of the variable is who am I so we will supply it when we run our playbook at the command line there are two ways you can use hyphen e the short form or you can use extra where's so we'll see examples shortly now these things I'm not removing let's keep them as they are and let us just specify one more task oh. So greetings. Debug. This time I am using a different um, a notation, but this is my preferred way. Okay, but we can use the message keyword right in front of the debug and directly specify the variable without even quotes here. But when you use this colon notation, we need double quotes or single quotes. So variable name is greetings. Of course, the double pairs of uh, curly braces or brackets are still required in any case. Now, that greetings we are printing. Now, another play, sorry, another task we create. So who you are okay now debug message equal who am I yes. and we are good to go so get greater than where dot yml I hit control L to clear screen instead of typing clear now as we have made some significant changes to our playbook let's check the syntax syntax is okay let's run it and notice we are not specifying the extra variable as of now okay which our playbook is expecting because we are referencing referencing to that variable but we are not specifying here and this variable is not found in our variables list also so there is gonna be some problem good 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 okay so this thing show greetings now we see oh one more thing <laughs> I did not replace the word OS info OS info okay I should say here instead of OS info host name right and here as well hmm. 
now show greetings so the message uh, has been printed because the variable greetings is present there which we are referencing in here but this variable is nowhere found and we did not specify it when we were calling the program or running the program and as you can see the error was who am i is undefined it is clearly mentioned there so the message we got is who am i is undefined so we don't have to wonder what what might have happened to our script huh? so the message uh, the error message makes it clear to us now we call the program is iphone iphone extra verse or just type any as i told you so who am i there are many ways okay to define variables and to specify them or to write them i'm going to use some simple things here who am i let's give some you know text here so i am superman or super user let's say superman Gathering facts takes some time on my systems because my laptop itself is a bit slow. And as you can see now, we didn't encounter any problem, and the message has been printed out. Okay, <laughs> printed out, printed on to our screen, not onto a paper. So, what if I forget this variable? okay how we handle that situation there are many ways we'll look at some simple ways here first understand that you can use this keyword where's and define your own variables now another thing is how you use them in your playbook okay you can use them to modify a path for example when you are using the file module the copy module and uh, anything else now here i'm putting this thing when who am i is defined so i'm clarifying then run this task only when the variable is defined defined is a keyword and is also a keyword reserved word you can say so this task will be skipped if you don't specify it okay and another thing we did not use this variable so far let's use it also show help error or help message debug message message is this and when we want to display that error message or not want to display it see if who am i is already present then we don't want to uh, show this error message right so when who am i is not defined if it is not present then show it if it is present then run this task so either one of these two tasks will be executed and either one of these two tasks will be skipped <laughs> right one will be skipped another will be executed which one it depends now so 
let's copy it all where dot yml of course we have made changes to our playbook so it is good to check it and one more thing earlier we did not see any errors even if we missed out the variable name at the command line right this thing we did not specify because this check does not uh, ensure by default that uh, uh, or by by design that uh, any variable that you are using is defined or not defined because it may be coming from some other file directory other playbook or other text file that has just all the list of the variables that you want to use okay so it it's not an error if you miss it now yeah now let's not specify this thing just run the playbook without the who am I variable earlier earlier we had a problem because who am I variable was not found okay you see show who you are or who are you right now it has been skipped why because we said here that perform this task only when this variable is defined and of course this task has no dependency on this task it's an additional thing which we are doing for uh, for the user who, right so that the user know uh, what he needs to do right we are telling the user that is specify this variable so this task has been executed because this variable is not defined here in the play recap also you can see that one task was skipped anyways even if you define that variable this uh, you know who am I then this task will be skipped so skipped doesn't mean there is a problem okay let's see this time also this time I am going to do some change here what change I am going to make is make a Mac is I'm going to use the short form hyphen e and there is a Linux variable dollar user which I'm going to use okay let me show you dollar user is a Linux environment variable whose value we are assigning to who am I instead of hard coding the word welcome welcome root okay so root you are the root user now this task has been skipped so it is pretty much clear that is skipped mean doesn't mean there is a problem so you by now should be able to understand how to use variables which you can include in your play and which you can specify as the command lines they are some time sometimes called command line parameters somebody uh, some people would call arguments <laughs> you call it whatever you like it doesn't matter what you call it them but the thing is how to use them now you know make use of them I'll, I'll tell you one more thing mm. variables which we define at the play level are available to that play only so all these tasks are part of this play the play name is there and I have shared one video with you and um, 
we understood why we should give names to our play as well as to our task even though the name thing is an optional thing so let me use this play copy this thing okay this is another play playing with ansible variables this is our second play so let's say play number 2 okay and we can copy paste this thing in here play number 1 just for our understanding now of course as it is a separate play we need to specify what hosts i am going to cover here so let me use this thing now i am using web here and only docker there and gather uh, facts by default yes but for this play i don't need it so i disable it this time because i'm not going to use the ansible prefix ansible facts i can still use inventory host name host name inventory host name now one variable let's remove both the variables and i use this task for example show greetings i copy that task from there okay so greetings this uh, variable as we have defined here at the top let's see if you are able to use it here okay see ideally that should not happen i mean variables defined at uh, play level they are visible to task under dead play only so uh, who am i we can specify for the first play even if we don't we have handled the error so let's leave it oh, oh, we should have done that check thing right so our play one first play is running gathering facts which is the which is there by default right okay so for docker we got it now play two okay the second play so inventory host name so even if we disabled the facts it doesn't make a matter because we are using the keyword inventory here the prefix is inventory because inventory file is being read into the system memory so we have the inventory information now show greetings this is failing here and as you can see in here it is failed right so why it failed because it is undefined as i told you earlier that whatever variables you set for a play or under play the variables are visible to the task under that play only not to other play of course we can use the system wide variables or ansible variables anywhere we like right we use this inventory host name earlier and here also without doing any extra work 
if we disable the gather facts then we, we can use the prefix ansible also so they are system variables right uh, or ansible system variables so what about the who am i variable can we use it let's see who am i show who are you hyphen who am i equal this time i am not going to use the dollar variable thing i am going to use the system command which is who am i and i am using those back ticks there what back ticks because of the back ticks first this command will be executed its output will be replaced here and then assigned to this variable okay see something advanced also we are learning on the way about linux thing right so let's hit the enter key before that i clear scroll back because this variable is coming from the command line right so it is visible because now it is at the playbook level not just an individual play level it is at the playbook level so it is visible to every play okay here show who are you now root we got okay this was the command we used here with back ticks so root so this variable is visible here as well as in the first play because it is at the at the playbook level now okay we are running this playbook now this at the playbook level this variable is visible so all the uh, tasks all the plays we have in our playbook they will have access to this variable they can modify use a uh, manipulate in any way they like but anyways this variable is available now let me um, finish this uh, video or exercise with one more thing i think i that will be helpful so the last variable when we are uh, specifying a task at that level also we can specify a custom variable for example i am talking about the first play name redefining the variable greetings how let's see let's use the word where's here greetings and some value how are you doing Oh, let's say uh, hello there. Okay. Now one more variable we can specify. For example, who am I? I have no idea who the hell I am. debug message
greetings so greetings and we also want to do this who am I thing right so who am I now what I do I just remove this task these two tasks in fact from here and place them in here uh -huh. okay cool why I'll tell you we have the variable here at the play level greetings it has its own value who am I I don't know what will you will be getting okay it depends how we execute our playbook uh, with that uh, variable defined or not defined right and uh, before we are using our uh, variable uh, greetings as defined at the play level we are customizing this variable inside this task as well as we are having our own who am I variable here and we are specifying it whatever value we have uh, assigned to it so both the values we are printing then we are again using the greetings variable and we want to see if I have modified the value in here do I get this value or do I get the value which is defined originally in here now before we run this program we need to understand that variables declare redefined at task levels they get the topmost priority or precedence now let's copy it all <laughs> I'm making it complicated now right yeah because real projects are very very complicated sometimes you have too many things in there good I did not make any mistake in copying things we are not specifying the who am I uh, value thing there okay because the error handling is already done so we are not worried about it let's see what happens now okay redefining the variables before that inventory host name we got okay fine inventory host name error message because who am I we did not specify so that message is there if who am I is not defined okay now redefining the variable greetings of course as you can see who am I we are he using here but here it is still not defined so we got it and redefining the variable greetings and we got the new message correct 
be specified here now welcome is not there and uh, who am I this value I have no idea so this message also we got from this variable so at the task level both the variables are having their values and we are able to access those values or access those variables okay no problem show greetings now again greeting becomes welcome here greetings was hello there welcome why because the variable defined at any task level they are tied to that where that task only so outside that task we have this task in the same play the play number one so this variable is defined at the play level and it is being used so there is no conflict you got it this is what I wanted you to notice and understand now so who are you who am I when and only when it is defined so for this play it is not defined but for this task it was defined so it was confined to this task only outside this task these two variables are not visible so this has been skipped because of the when condition correct in our play number two now we are entering the play number two okay the part two of our playbook inventory host name no problem because that that's a system variable or we can say ansible system variable now show who are you and here we get an undefined variable because we did not use it at the command line and we did not use any method to you know handle this problem we did not use that when keyword here so it was found as undefined and the error was thrown we have covered a lot of things about variables in here if you want I can just try to show you the entire playbook okay so I hope that you found this exercise very helpful and uh, actually this is how you are going to use it in your you know um, projects also there will be variables defined at play level defined at a task level of course there are variables which are defined at hosts level and there are variables which are defined elsewhere okay in other playbook in other file there are many things as I told you earlier there are many ways many formats and we'll cover them as and where uh, we you know make progress we advance our our knowledge so I think this is quite enough for now and uh, I say tata to you and I can tell you that it is lightning out there and the weather is quite good now <laughs> feeling a little bit cool it's a great relief it rained for a few minutes a while ago this night past 3 a.m. so you see guys I'm very passionate about delivering trainings and whenever I find time usually you know late hours only late night late hours I design my uh, these uh, training modules or I can say these recordings I do and share with you thank you for your support bye bye tata